Hello and welcome to People's Dispatch. Today, we are joined by Michel Sibun from the French Jewish Union for Peace, which is a part of the BDS movement in France. Hello, Michel. Thank you for joining Hello. us. Hello. Michel, could you first tell us a bit about your organization and the kind of work it does? The organization, uh, the French Jewish Union for Peace, uh, was raised in France uh, with the first Intifada and after Oslo agreements. Uh, but with the second Intifada, it, it grew uh, very quickly because a lot of Jews in France uh, didn't, uh, didn't accept to be manipulated in, in the Israeli uh, Palestine, the so-called Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Uh, people, the, the Jewish organizations in France, Zionist Jewish organizations in France, and the governments, governments, all the governments, are trying to instrumentalize the Jewish minority uh, in saying that all the Jews are victims of anti-Semitism mm -hmm. if there is anti-Zionism. And uh, we, people like me, but many others, uh, didn't want to, to get involved uh, as Jews uh, in the crimes committed in Palestine. So we wanted our self uh, uh, freedom of speech. And uh, what we wanted to, exp to express very strongly is that we are anti-colonialist, uh, anti-racist, and that we think that uh, the only way for peace uh, is a way of uh, recognizing all the rights of the Palestinian people that they lost, including, of course, the right of freedom. So how, what has been the response of the young people in the country? Has there been a shift in attitudes in recent times? Let's say we are st in, in my organization in the beginning, but it, it's quite uh, the problem of a lot of solidari international solidarity movements in France. They are quite uh, old people, older, um, right. older people. We are starting to to get more uh, uh, young people, and uh, for instance, you could uh, look on YouTube. We have we have made uh, last year ten video clips, and they are subtitled in English about all what we think right. as organizations. Right. Uh, on all those questions, and you will see that now it's much more mixed, yeah. younger, and but basically, as every manipulated min minority everywhere in the world, uh, the problem is that the minority is manipulated, and a lot, a, a big part of it, uh, first of all, a big part of it doesn't express itself. A lot of Jews in France, we are between uh, 500,000 and 600,000, just we just don't know where they are and what they think. Right. Those who express themselves very strongly and with the state's support are the Zionists. Right. So uh, across the world, there's been this whole tendency of terming any criticism of Israel as anti-Semitic. In fact, I think in the US, they've tried to pass a law which almost of says course. so. Yeah. It's, it's a campaign, you know, it's a built campaign by the, the Zionist Israeli organizations. They took even, in, to organize this campaign, they took big uh, uh, offices of marketing and, uh, and they really built the campaign with written uh, uh, advertising. Uh, but you know, uh, France has a special uh, past historically and uh, something that is not of Indian agenda is is still a, a, a French agenda. But I would say that today we have in common the neoliberal agenda. Right. And this, uh, why all the governments, all the governments in France are attacking or trying to, to, to shut up the BDS campaign. Yes. It's because of their alliance right. uh, with Israel, a very strong political alliance and uh, on a completely separate note, yeah. the France has recently been rocked by the Yellow West movement and we have been very closely following it. So how do you see the evolution of the movement and it panning out over the next couple of weeks or months? I don't know. I'm not... Uh, <laughs> <coughs> hmm. Let's say I'm very happy it happened. Because for years and for years, every strikes, every uh, effort to change the situations was a complete uh, failure. Right. 
you, we, we did, uh, for let's say, the last strikes in France against the work, working law, uh, it was million people outside in the streets. Result, zero. Finally, those people who are really desperate, uh, they, they went out in the street and they expressed themselves and, and the reaction of the government is terrible. The police is beating them. They, they stopped them even to walk in the street pacifically. But they, got, they understood that they have to be now, they have to, to give back. And it's a, it's a wonderful university of activism. People who never did, they said they even, for, the, for some of them, they were not even voting. And they, were, they never went in any political party, they never uh, went on strike. They, they learned so much right. and they became activists and this is a great hope right. for us. Thank you, Michel. That's all we have time for today. Keep watching People's Dispatch. Hey, cantar, hey, vamos.